Welcome back. Today we are going to be revisiting the BBC3 YouTube channel. You can all go thank Otterface for that one. The reason why is because I noticed they'd uploaded a new video, and I'd honestly thought by now they would have learned their lesson, to stop spending my valuable TV license payer money on utter drivel. The topic of this video centres around what not to say, or to ask, to someone who is non-binary. And just before we get into that, I did promise a while ago while covering other videos of this in this series anyway, that I would do a video detailing what the BBC TV license is all about, its history, pros and cons, mostly cons. I am working on it, it just takes a while to compile all the useful and somewhat unbiased information, because I hate it, so I'm obviously going into this already hating something, which isn't the right way to do it really. Anyway, non-binary folk, take it away. Are you a boy or a girl? Is it he or she or they or what? That's so in right now to be like hashtag gender fluid. Where do you shop in the men's or the women's section? Or oh, unisex? <laughs> unisex! <laughs> that word needs to die! It's a shame that when you decided to ask questions before showing the title of this video, you didn't ask the questions that most people would ask. Did you get that off Tumblr? being one. Why are you so special that you feel the need to create something that is utterly fictitious? In your DNA, is there a P for plonker? So what's going on down there? How is this a question you wouldn't want to ask somebody who identifies as non-binary? If someone tells me they're non-binary, I'm going to want to know if they have non-binary genitals. It doesn't seem like it's something I shouldn't ask. In fact, it seems like something I should ask up front, especially if we end up dating, which would never happen. But hypothetically. None of <laughs> your business. I have had this many times. It's this fixation to know they have to know because what they see is unclear. Uh, people don't even bother to ask me. They sort of forcibly tell me in the street, you, you've got this genitalia. Mm. And they can just go along and walk past people in the street and just sort of tick off like... Vagina, yeah, penis. Vagina, penis Ooh, and I feel like... Less anxious now. Yes, yes, we've all heard this before. Gender is a social construct, and there are only two biological sexes. However, there are still only two genders. Your genitals have nothing to do with your gender anyway. Yeah. Those two organs don't identify your whole life, and they shouldn't. Okay, so I can agree with the sentiment of the second part, that gender should not dictate your life. With regards to the first part, though, I take issue, because by removing biological sex and focusing solely on gender, you are removing the scientific fact that non-binary people cannot exist past what you feel, which is not good enough. Now, you can try to argue that societal norms, gender roles, and whatever are irrelevant, but it does not lend credibility to your position whatsoever. <laughs> That's so trendy right now, hashtag gender fluid. Well, there is a term that floats around the internet to define certain people who are not really what they say they are. They just latch onto it because they believe it to be trendy. They're called trans trenders. They are, if anything, a detriment to what real trans people go through. And if they're anything like other annoying little millennials, they spend far too much time on social media and believe what they see on Tumblr, because they, much like earlier mentioned, have a P in their DNA for plonker. I, I can see this person. <laughs> I mean, look at this coat. I'm just like hip and down with the kids, you know. We may have struggled to find the identity to understand who and what we are, but this isn't a fad. You all look like hipster douches that are doing it ironically. Now I love that the BBC have done this so that it implies we should never ask people questions that could be somewhat offensive, but they managed to put one in there that's worth your time, and it just so happens to be somebody we've spoken to before. Non-binary is like a term that people can use where I don't want to identify as male or female. And unfortunately you don't share with us why that is the case. To help us better understand you. I don't identify with having a gender because I found it really restrictive. It's complex, I don't know, some non-binary people identify as transgender, others don't. During that little bit there, you notice a jump cut. It is someone else speaking and not relevant to this particular thread. You're welcome to go and watch the original though to confirm it. Now I don't understand why people say they are trans and they're non-binary. That makes absolutely no sense. You are transitioning from what to what. It makes no sense whatsoever. And don't put this on feelings, because you're transitioning from one feeling to the other. If you want to do that, get yourself a mood ring. 
it's a lot simpler and cheaper. I don't think it's more trendy now. I think we're just, our existence is actually being recognised. Yeah, we're actually being spoken about. It's reaching people who are going to be confused, like I was, and they're going to be upset and not know what's going on. And they're going to see that word and hopefully it'll mean something to them. So like you see someone who, and you can relate to it and you're like, oh yeah, lol, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> just because more people are speaking on it does not mean it is gaining any more legitimacy. And while quite a number of people go through varying levels of confusion with regards to their gender identity, I do not believe for a second this is going to lead to increasing numbers of people identifying as non-binary, or getting to the point where non-binary is the new bathroom argument. Let's face it, if it gets that far, humanity may as well end itself now. Kneel before Magog and Cthulhu. 2020, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> what toilet do you use? <laughs> oh, I can't wait for this one. I can't wait. <clears throat> first things first. This is not a question you should not ask someone who's non-binary. It's definitely something you should always ask people who identify as non-binary. I kind of find myself having a breakdown about that on the daily. Well, you do look rather delicate. Whichever one I please. So you use the disabled one then. I don't like to go in the male toilets at all because it's like I will be looked at. People think I'm a pervert. You haven't spent much time in a men's bathroom, have you? Men don't exactly spend their time checking each other out. You go in, you do your business, you wash your hands, you walk out. That doesn't make anyone a pervert unless you are going out of your way to look at other guys' dicks. I will use male toilets unless I feel unsafe. What on earth is there to feel unsafe about? Are you just feeling insecure cause reasons and then decide to flee and go into the disabled bathroom because that's undoubtedly where you'll end up to pull on the strings? At the end of the day, a toilet is somewhere where you go and have a shit. So what, ma what does it matter what gender you are? A position that does not need criticising. Something most people can agree with, to an extent. But were you born a man or a woman? As the BBC have very kindly introduced biological sex into this, I am intrigued to see how they answer the question, but also if at all mention why this is a question that should not be asked. I mean, what is a man and what is a woman? This is not some deep, profound question that requires many years of philosophical study, so I will not be wasting any time answering that. <laughs> you're assigned gender, you're assigned sex. I wasn't born with a penis, so... You are assigned a biological sex based on an obvious outward appearance, either having external genitalia or not. And just because you weren't born with a penis does not change the original question. You're not answering it, you're dodging it. You're deflecting with arrogance, it doesn't suit you. It just makes you look like even more of a douche. Which I'm sure if you identify as trans non-binary, you're already a colossal douche to begin with. You can be a boy, and you can like flowers. So? I'm a guy that spent most of his childhood working on garden nurseries. That is not a gender trait. And you've still not answered the question. No one's answering this question. Yeah. They want to term all your behaviours as either like a feminine or a masculine. Doesn't answer the question. You can be a girl and you can like cars. Yes, and there are some quality female drivers out there. Then determine which they think you're more strong in and put you in that box. Do you really think when a baby's born, the doctor's not looking at the genitals to determine the obvious baby's sex, although that could already be known courtesy of an ultrasound? Do you think they're instead looking at the baby and determining, hmm, this baby already has very feminine traits, let's ignore those pesky genitals, hmm... No, I'm not sure. This one could be non-binary. I know what you know, the comments on this video. There are only two genders. Oh, I identify as an attack helicopter. There are only two genders, and don't fuck with the Apache helicopter crowd. They'll send their heat sick of missiles and blow those fucking contacts through the back of your skull. That's not natural. Who the fuck asks that? No one asks that. They're not going to say it's not natural, they're going to say it's not real. It's not something that can be truly quantified, it's not something that can be backed by scientific evidence. Again though, this isn't something people shouldn't ask, if anything they should definitely ask, because based on earlier answers, these people are very sensitive, and the triggering, and the popcorn sales, oh it'll be magical. It literally- Oh god! Oh god! Oh god. <laughs> Is though. <laughs> like, what? 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 
What? What? Is marriage natural? Like, have you ever seen two squirrels, like one in a suit, one in a white dress, like with a sparrow marrying them in the forest? No. I have seen two squirrels, one in a suit, one in a dress, and I'll put a picture on the screen now of that. However, you can't equate the two. And you're still not answering the question put before you, you are again using a weak deflection. Non binary identity has been existing since the beginning of time. You see other societies and cultures out there, and they don't have this very strict two box rule. In the Torah, there are like over six or seven genders. Mm, like Native Americans had four genders. I think it's India, there's third gender. Because there are so many examples in the animal kingdom snails mm. and hermaphrodites. Male seahorses give birth to their children. Clownfish change sex halfway through their life. Yeah which is a Finding Nemo sequel I'd like to see. <laughs> now I could easily engage with what they're saying and say, what would you do about our culture then to make it more inclusive of your fake culture? You are again not answering the question, you're looking to other sources to legitimise yours, which does not answer the question, nor does it legitimise you. <laughs> Is it he or she? Ah, the discussion on pronouns. I'd much rather spend my time now talking about, play on word time, prolapses. Just let that sink in. I mean, thank you for asking. Two options, he or she. Babe. Well, you should totally educate me or get someone who is more qualified to educate me on all those pronouns so I don't get it wrong. There's he and she, they, there's easy if fee as well. I'm going to need a lot of booze for this. No, I need more. I'll do it. Continue. It, it can be confusing for someone because yeah. they don't know what you're presenting as necessarily. From about six feet away, they presume me to be female, and then they get closure and they're like, oh. I went in one shop and they're like, okay, sir, yeah, we'll uh, we'll keep on to that. Thank you, sir. I, I walk into another shop ten, ten minutes later and they're like, yes, madam, I can't fucking win. I don't have enough alcohol to listen to any more of that segment, so let's move on to the next one. <laughs> Do you shop in the men's or women's section? I'll be honest, this doesn't seem like a terrible question that should never be asked. It is, if anything, a curiosity. And there's nothing wrong with being curious. Both is good. Both is good. I don't understand why we're still saying this is a female piece of clothing, or this is a male piece of clothing. I can answer that for you, even though you have not, specialised, answered the question. While you don't get why some clothing is women's and why some clothes is men, it is because it is designed for a male body or a female body. There are obvious differences between them. You have this whole store of all these wonderful things that you could open your mind to. Like Sometimes I'll wear a crop top, some days I would play with Barbies and wear a fairy dress, and sometimes I'll wear a suit. Other days I'd be in a Thunderbirds costume. But I'm not doing this for you, I'm doing this for me. This is my suit of armour and my portrayal of how I feel inside. I remember for my 12th birthday I got Hulk boxer shorts off my mum and I was, beautiful. I was a happy little queer. So by now most of you have noticed we are nearing 13 minutes in and no one has answered a single question once. They've deflected. They've used some shoddy comparisons to try and reason that theirs is just as real as something else. All of this, if anything, adds to my infuriation that the BBC is continuing to push this, quote, progressive content. There is nothing about this that I want to be endorsing or I want my money to be going towards, and I can be certain that would apply to the majority of those that pay for their TV licence, much like most of them surely by now are done with EastEnders. Are you gay? Yes. Hell yeah! Absolutely. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? They answered a question. Fuck. <laughs> 